Hi, welcome back. In an effort to keep our community clean and free from hazardous waste, we have Ron Beldner here, who's a resident and past president of United Mutual, to tell us about the problems and also some solutions, right? Yes. Well, excellent. Well, welcome. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about what's going on in the community with, with hazardous waste now. Okay. Well, I'm doing a recycling project within the village, and we use the money to buy food for the South County Food Bank. Mm -hmm. And so when I go around to some of the dumpsters, I have been seeing hazardous waste thrown in there. Everything from full-size furniture to explosives to chemicals and everything else. And these are becoming an acute problem within the village mm -hmm. because this can go and cause some accidents or somebody could be hurt. So we don't want that to happen. Right, and, and on, the, on the screen now we have yeah, some okay. hazardous waste. We have cans and paint and oil. What, what are some other things that you're, that you're seeing okay. now? Well, for example, the picture over here on the right, that laid there for about eight months before somebody decided to call up and find out how they could get it picked up. Mm -hmm. And that's easy to have it done. But I think the first thing we should do is tell people what a hazardous material is. Okay. okay. You know, it's, there are certain laws, and it's a violation of the federal, state, county, and uh, municipal, as well as the mutual regulations to put any hazardous material in or around the dumpsters. As you can see, that was around the dumpsters. Right. Now, the definition of a hazardous material is anything that exhibits corrosive, poisonous, flammable, explosive, biological, radioactive, or reactive properties and it has a potential to harm a person's health or the environment. Which is so, a lot of things. There's a lot there's of There's a stuff. lot of things, yeah. The standard PAM that you may spray your little pot with or your, when you're cooking, right. that's a hazardous material. Right. The cleaning solutions that you use at home mm -hmm. are also that way. Mm -hmm. Stuff that you use in car, your carpet cleaner, the spot removers, mm -hmm. all of these items become hazardous material and have to be done a different way and handled a different way. Right. And uh, just to let you know, people like to know what it costs for our trash. And mm -hmm. I think that's very important here. Mm -hmm. The trash collection in Laguna Woods for United for 2018, they have budgeted $390,673 and they're charging every mutual member $5.15 a month to pay for this. Okay. In third, they've budgeted $529,881. And in third, they charge their members $7.24 a month. Okay. But there's another charge that's put on, and that's by GRF. And GRF has $196,208 in their budget, and another $1.28 is charged to every resident every month. Okay. So the total for these, just these three areas, is over $1,116,000. So there is a lot of money for our trash pickup. And this doesn't include any penalties we have, any special pickups that might have to be done. Mm -hmm. So we're paying for all this stuff. So we have to be very careful of what goes into these dumpsters. Right, and, and so around the community, what we're seeing is people are not using the facilities right. that they're supposed to. Mm. Instead, they're just putting them out by the dumpsters and also on their balconies and things too, right? Yes, and also when they throw them in. For example, you saw the paint. Well, these right here are construction materials. Oh. Somebody was moving or didn't want patio furniture or case, they just throw it on the dumpsters. Right. And of course, we have places that will pick these up for you. Right, right. You were saying that there's a, a variety of different things, right? right. Like, go ahead and tell, go through each one and let okay. us know which ones they are. Well, for example, there's free hazardous materials door-to-door -door pickup and from our waste management company. And what you do is you call 800-449-7587 mm -hmm. okay. and they will deliver to you a hazmat container. You put everything in it and then they'll come out free of charge, pick it up and take everything away. That's great. Now, if you have needles, you have lancets, and other home-generated sharps material, you can call the City Hall at 949-639-0500, mm -hmm. or you can take it right over to City Hall, and they will take it from you. Okay. Also, our City Hall will take your batteries, everything except the car battery or the golf cart battery. So they'll take the home-style batteries mm -hmm. from you. Okay. If you have light bulbs or you have CFLs 
or LEDs or the long four foot bar lights, which a lot of people throw in there, you can take those to Home Depot and it's free. They'll take them away for you. Okay. Now, we also have some other things that are provided by the city. Every third Saturday of the month, they will pick up items that you leave outside the dumpster and you can start putting them on the night before and no later than seven o'clock in the morning. And you should call the village uh, resident services at 949-597-4600 mm -hmm. prior to setting these out so they know what cul-de-sac, because they don't drive up and down every cul-de-sac. Right. They're waiting to hear from you. Okay. Now there are items that they cannot pick up and mm -hmm. these are ammunition, they will not pick up any demolition or construction waste, car bodies, or hazardous waste. Right, like you, what you were seeing yeah, in those yes. pictures. Yes, okay. you have to make the other calls for the thing there. Right, okay. But there's another one. Boy, if there's a have, lot. Yeah, and these okay. are all free for our, our residents. If you have furniture, like I saw a dumpster where it had a couch in it, and the yep. other one next to it had the love seat, or mm -hmm. you have patio furniture. Or mattresses. They will come to your home mm -hmm. and pick up the items twice a year at your home, and it's on an on-call basis. Right. And all you need to do is call resident services, again, at 949-597-4600. Okay, and if they had any questions at all regarding all this, they can call that number, right? Yes. Okay, and then you and I were talking a little bit about how to let the community know. So you have a sheet there that's like a move-in sheet, right? right? So when people move in, they get this now or they don't get it yet? Well, we used to put in this sheet right here on the move-in, and okay. now we have a brand new one that just came out. Okay. And when you get these when you move in. But okay. what we do need is the cooperation of the uh, real estate market. Okay. When somebody dies, we know here we should have somebody out there to put one of these on the window. Okay. But when a real estate agent lists a place, they should give some of these, what, is, what can you put in, what can you not put in, mm -hmm. in the dumpsters to the people there. And when the new person comes in, they should give that also because sometimes you arrive, you got too much stuff to go in your place, right. you put it in the dumpsters. Mm -hmm. So these are some things. The other thing is hazmat materials from contractors. Mm -hmm. Contractors cannot use our dumpsters for any kind of material, any construction material. I went and had our house recarpeted. The first place we went to told us there was a carpet recycling fee of $22. Oh. But the next two said, oh, we don't do that. We just dump it in the nearest dumpster. So these are illegal things that mm -hmm. are being done. And of course, we got to take care of this because sometimes it gets, people get hurt. Mm -hmm. In one dumpster, somebody threw some old Drano crystals, two cans that were rusted. They threw some old, gasoline cans that were rusted and leaking, mm -hmm. and then they threw Purex and other chemicals on there, oh, and it reacted, and there was chlorine gas. Oh, no. So I could detect it because I was trained by the LA Fire Department in the CERT program. Mm -hmm. So we can't have these things happening because someday right. somebody's going to get really hurt. Right, right. Now, we do have a couple of flyers that I think we've been showing, so maybe we can go through some of those real quick. Uh, the, ha the household hazardous waste disposal services, which is what we talked about. And these are the materials that are, that are accepted. Mm -hmm. So you've got, uh, why don't we just run through that a little bit. You've got fire extinguishers. Yes. So do people normally have to get rid of them? Yes. The fire extinguishers that are bought today last for 10 years, but the ones that were bought before uh, last year only have a five-year life. And even oh. though this thing may say it's good and charge, it's not. Because the minute you pull that handle, you'll get a little puff and that's it. Okay. So people dump those. And then household cleaners. Now what if, what if they have nothing left in the container? Can yeah. you then put it in the trash can or not? Yes, you, okay. you, no, uh, you cannot because some of these still have pressure in them. The uh, cans oh, have pressure. Oh, the cans have pressure, I see, uh, yeah. okay. One of the other things is people buy uh, new barbecues mm -hmm. and, or somebody has passed and they throw the old barbecue away and it's got a five gallon container of propane. Right. A five gallon container can take out an eight car garage. Oh geez, well don't put that so in there. So you don't want those in there. And these are the type of things that people do. And a paint is becoming a very big thing. People are right. throwing the paint cans in as right. the pictures showed. 
into the dumpsters. Right. And sometimes they're empty, but sometimes they're full, right. or they leave them outside and they sit there for weeks to right. months before right. they're picked up. Well, there's an awful lot of information that I think, like you said, needs to go to the residents mm. either upon move out, upon move in, and, and mm. hopefully you can get those materials to those folks. So thank you so much for all the information. This is great. Well, I thank you for inviting me. We appreciate you uh, sharing this. And, and again, if anyone has any uh, questions, they can always go uh, call Resident Services uh, and uh, look up all that information. Thanks or again. Go to, yeah, or go to City Hall and pick these up. Or City Hall. Perfect. Thanks. Thank you. And uh, we'll be right back after this.